Not away with it. <laughs> Straighter is greater. What more can I say? Hey everyone, welcome back to JR Pro Shop Vids. Today we got the brand new GB4 Pearl from Ebonite. Now this new GB4 Pearl features the enhanced V2 core that's been in the entire Game Breaker line. And wrapped around it is the GB12.0 Pearl cover stock. It's the same one that's on the GB4 Solid, just in a Pearl version. So we got Brandon back on the lanes today doing the review. So comparing against the GB4 Pearl, he's got the GB4 Solid, and one of his favorite symmetric pearls, the Eruption Pearl from Columbia. The pattern today is Gateway Arch, it's 42 feet, seven to one ratio, it's a challenge pattern, but a little bit on the easier side. Expectations, I think the GB4 is gonna cover the most boards and hook the earliest. The GB4 Pearl here is gonna go the longest and hook the sharpest and the Eruption Pearl should fit somewhere in between. We've got the same layout on all three balls here, so it should make for a very fair comparison. Thanks to everyone who's become a member of our JR Pro Shop community so far. It's not too late though. Hit that join button below and get exclusive perks and early access to videos. So that's enough in here. Let's send it out to Brandon on the lanes. Brandon's back, this time with the new Game Breaker GB4 Pearl. We're out here on 42 foot gateway arch, seven to one house type pattern. Let's go see what this ball does. Line up my usual favorite spot in the league. Ooh, that took a little more on the back end than I expected. My first couple balls of practice got further down the lane. All cut loose, let's move a little bit. That ball hooked, two boards in with my feet, one with my eyes. Let's make a better shot. Oh. Interesting carry. I like it. Let's do that again. I'm really excited for this ball. My favorite ball as a junior is the Vortex 2 Pearl. This is pretty much the modern day version of that ball. And yeah, I want to add that kind of piece to my bag. I'm still looking for that right mid-range solid symmetric something for medium to dryer lanes as I move in. This might be that piece. I really like the solid and I'm hoping that I like the pearl as much. A little inside. Not bad. Still probably not the perfect ball for a fresh condition. We dressed these lanes 20 minutes ago. The back ends are still real fresh. Usually I'd use this ball a little bit later in the day. We're just gonna have to make this work. Let's try this ball out to the dry a little better. Carried one, and that was not a good shot off my hand. Got a little spinny with it. That tends to be my miss. It's question time, we're gonna do it now. Tell me about your miss in bowling. My miss is getting around the ball with my hand. I get spinny, I don't stay under it, and I just make poor shots when that happens. The ball tends to cut loose down lane. So what's your mistake, and how do you try to fix that? All right, yeah, let's stay behind the ball. I usually get spinny with it because my legs don't stay down. I rear up, I'm stiff with my legs. I gotta kind of focus on keeping my hips low, my butt low, so I get leverage under the ball. That was better. It's the best shot I've thrown so far. And just really comes down to better execution. What more can I say? Switching over to the GB4 solid. We reviewed this ball last season. Barker and I tag team this one against the Omni and the Damn Good Verge. We both like this ball, me especially. And for a ball in the mid range, this thing really hooks. I just hit it with the fresh 500 and 1500 to get it back to box finish. And let's see what it can do. Same line. Close. I just rolled a little bit sooner. It was still pretty strong off the back end. Almost as sharp down lane as the Pearl, surprisingly. This ball has always surprised me in how strong it can be when the back ends are fresh. Let's make a little move in. I need to find some more oil, help this ball get further down the lane just because it's so dull. So I'm gonna move three with my feet, two with my eyes. All right, yeah, that was perfect. And still, that ball's screaming off the back end. I probably got 60, 70 games on it. I really like this ball. It's had a lot of games over the last season in my bag and I've used it on so many different patterns. 
In this house especially, where the heads are always fresh and the back ends are strong, it's just a great matchup for me. I find in most of my videos, I always stand all the way left and try to wheel on it. And that's never the right way to play the lanes. What I'm gonna to try to do is take a bit of hand out, increase my ball speed, and play more in the track area. A little closer to second arrow. I think this is more the way the lanes wanna be played on fresh. I think it's gonna to shape to the pocket the right way. Ah, not enough ball speed. Let's try that again, a little more gas here. That shaped well. That ball is quite rolly, didn't jump off the spot too much, but I really need to keep my speed up. Let's do that again, see if I got some consistency there. As somebody with an average rev rate and sort of average ball speed, I'm finding that as I get older, playing straighter has been more helpful in my game. The kids now rip on the ball so much, all the two-handers and guys cupping their wrist, I can't keep up. Straighter is greater. Got away with it. <laughs> I can move in just a little bit with my feet. I think I'm a little too far right on this pattern. Two board move and keep my speed up will probably give me a little more miss room. I'm always looking for miss room here. Close, not quite though. I think the softer speed might have actually been the better play today. Those balls shaped. Let's hook it again, put my hand back in it. That's the right shape. That ball seems to like it when I put my hand in it, roll it, and just, yeah, give it the business there. That's a lot better. Yeah, just gonna keep hooking it. I said I wanted to play straight. Apparently that's not the play tonight. Yeah, that's shaping the right way. It seems to be pretty smooth. I'm gonna throw my Eruption Pearl, which I've sanded down a bit, just to compare, because in my last video, that ball was really jumping off the back end. Let's do a comparison. Similar balls, similar price points, somewhat similar cores. Let's take a peek. Oh, check out my video. Yeah, oh, oh right up here. Thanks, producer. I had this ball at the 2K before league tonight. I found it was just a little bit too long and coming in a little bit too late. That little bit of surface made it roll the right way. So let's do that from the same spot. Interesting, even with the extra surface, that ball got further down the lane than the GB4 Pearl. That's very interesting. I wanna see that again though, that's only one shot. I went through the pins nice too, but it still seems like it was a little bit longer and a little bit sharper, even with more surface. I wanna see the GB4 Pearl with a little bit of scuff. I'll be right back. All right, by hand in a little water, we hit this with 3K. Let's get this ball to start up and give it a fair comparison to the Eruption Pearl. I wanna show you how strong this ball is. So same alignment I was at earlier. This should start up a little earlier, roll a little more and not be quite as sharp down the lane. Gonna drop that. Time for a better shot than that. For a bad ball though, I'll take a ring 10. Jung did a really good video on comparing different symmetric pearls. He did storm balls, I'm a Brunswick guy, but please check it out right up here. He shows the value of making surface changes and adapting the ball's texture to the lanes out there. So he had to put a little bit of surface on his ball to get it to roll the right way. I'm trying to do the same thing here. I'm typically a bowler that likes to sand my equipment and see a little more surface. Oh baby, that really looked good. Again, again, moving a little left here. That looks so good. This might be a ball that likes just a little bit of scuff. And this looks better than that Eruption Pearl even. At least in my hands. I like to see hook. I like to see my ball start up a little bit earlier. And I can always fight that by either moving my feet left or throwing it harder if I have to. But this looks awesome. It's also rare I get a symmetric solid in the mid-range to hook enough and to roll the right way to go through the pins properly here on fresh oil. Let's keep striking. Really close. I'm really, really liking what I see. Apples to apples comparison, mid-range symmetrics. We got the Eruption Pearl again. Just so you can see the difference. And this is at 2,000, where the other ball is at three. Same alignment. And watch this ball just go a little further down the lane, hook a little sharper at the end. Carried, but that wasn't nearly the same look that I had of the GB4 Pearl. The GB4 Pearl looked way, way better by being rounded, 
smooth, even, giving me more traction. I always want to see too much traction as opposed to not enough. At least that's my bias. Scene. Back from the lanes, and I was out there on 42 foot gateway arch, freshly oiled lanes after league, and I threw the GB4 Pearl, and I struck a lot, especially when I hooked it. This ball for a mid-range Pearl ball was quite strong. Even at box finish, it gave me enough traction to read the lanes properly and have a strong motion down lane. But when I sanded down a 3K, that ball really came to life. I compared the GB4 Pearl to the solid. The solid read the lane a little bit sooner and didn't quite hook as much down the lane, although it was stronger than I expected. The big difference here was the box finish, where this ball came at 500, 1500. The GB4 Pearl came out of the box at compound, which is gonna be around 4,000, maybe a little shinier than that. And then I compared that ball to the Eruption Pearl, which I reviewed last month, and that's also in the same price point, but it was just a little bit weaker. And by weaker, I mean that the Eruption Pearl went a little further down the lane and was a little bit more sensitive to oil. Ball strength to me refers to how much or how strong the ball is in oil. So for a ball in the mid range, I was very impressed in how strong the GB4 Pearl was. It wasn't too touchy when I missed left or right at target. It had a very rounded, even shape. And I felt like I knew what the ball was gonna do once it left my hand. There were no surprises. A weaker ball like the Eruption Pearl was a little bit sketchy sometimes. I got it to the dry early, it could hook a lot, it could be really sharp. It stayed in the oil too long, it would slide through and never really roll up the right way. I had more success with the GB4 Pearl when I was hooking it. I was kind of surprised because usually I've had more success in this pattern going straight. The strong arcing back end motion of the GB4 when I opened my angles up and trusted the ball to the right. Staying a little bit too direct with my angles was tough with this ball because it just really wanted to hook. It wanted to make a strong move off the dry boards and with such clean back ends, this ball was just a little too much. In terms of ball reaction, this ball most reminded me of the melee jab. Another stronger symmetric bowling ball. This ball, in my opinion, took to having more surface better. This might be a ball that could be sanded down even more and continue to look good, especially when, I'm, when I wanna open my angles up on medium type conditions. This is a ball where I can step left, trust it right, and believe that it's gonna come back consistently. I recommend the GB4 Pearl as a ball to step down to when your benchmark ball hooks too early. As far as style of bowler, I really think this ball is gonna match a lot of people. Having an early rolling core, a medium strength cover, and a medium surface prep allows this ball to fit a lot of people's eye. It's gonna give you a lot of different options on a lot of different lanes and just any kind of medium and you'll really see a good reaction out of this. Don't forget to like and subscribe and please in the comments below, let us know about your miss in bowling. For me, it's rearing up with my, with my legs and getting spinny with my release. I need to always focus on staying down and rolling the ball. Let us know about yours. Thank you to everybody who has joined our community so far and all of our exclusive members. If you guys want to become exclusive members and get coaching, some extra perks, and watch videos early, hit the join button. Stay tuned. side. That was better. <laughs>